Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera almost fell. <laughs> the camera almost fell. I should not be laughing that my camera almost fell off. We need to talk. We need to talk today. I think um, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with some of your backpacking trips and how they've been going. Uh, some of you guys have been messaging me telling me that some of your backpacking trips haven't been going exactly how you want them to go. So today, in today's video, uh, we're going to talk about four things that I do to make every backpacking trip better. I am now wearing a puffy jacket. Yesterday I wore shorts and a t-shirt. It was 74 degrees Fahrenheit here in Wisconsin and now it is 42 <laughs> Fahrenheit. So this ain't right. But good news is, is that the state parks are starting to open up. Um, backpacking sites aren't supposed to open up until like June 1st. So uh, I probably shouldn't be telling you that guys because you're going to uh, reserve spots before me and I don't want you to do that so don't do that I'm gonna go online and reserve my spots today what okay so today so today I want to talk to you about just some tips that uh, you can use to help you make your backpacking trip better some of the stuff may work for you some of it you may already be doing some of it may not work for you depending on the trip that you're doing uh, one of these tips I don't do anymore and I'll share exactly why but I know it's gonna help a majority of the people out there. Sometimes the expectations of backpacking we have are so much higher than what actually happens. <laughs> it just like goes south super fast, you know. Things just don't work out the way you thought. The trail that you were gonna take is closed or uh, the campsite that you were gonna use is uh, destroyed by, you know, a uh, flood or something, who knows, or uh, the water source that you thought was gonna be there isn't there. Just stuff goes wrong. Um, so these tips are obviously just, just some tips that I do myself. So this is one that I had to learn early on because I bring kids with me and I usually bring somebody with me that's either rarely backpacked or never backpacked before. Tip number one, I choose the mileage that best suits my group. What do I mean by that? I mean that there's always gonna be somebody in your group who has a heavier backpack than everybody else. While backpacking isn't necessarily a physical sport, a lot of times people that go backpacking can be out of shape and uh, you're <laughs> only gonna do as good as the person who is either not as in good of shape, uh, AKA me, I'm usually the guy that's getting petered out at like 13, 14 miles. I'm like, let's stop. Um, or you're the guy who maybe carried too much weight, or you're the new backpacker, or whatever it is. But just know that when you plan your trips, and this is what I try to do when I plan my backpacking trips, I always take the person who is the least experienced into consideration when I'm planning my trips. I always wanna make sure that I make backpacking trips memorable in a good way and comfortable for everybody that comes with me. It is just like a staple of me planning a backpacking trip. I want everybody to just have a great time. So for those people that are coming who aren't as experienced, keep that in mind. You know, Maybe make your trips a little bit shorter or make the campsites a little bit closer to cars if you can or make it so that they don't have to pour in a ton of water. Maybe there's a water source near the first camp or maybe it's just uh, you know camping in warmer weather versus freezing cold weather. But make it as best as you can for the inexperienced hiker because it's gonna make your trip better as well. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is don't start your hike too late in the day. So what I mean by that, there's always that one guy, that one backpacker who is always the last person to get up. If you're planning on hiking at like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and you've got a high mileage day ahead of you, or it's enough miles that you're gonna hike through the afternoon, that sun beating down on you is relentless. Even when it's cold, that sun beating down on you is relentless. It's gonna dehydrate you, even in the winter time. So if you can get up and get your start on the day much earlier, you can get out farther to where you can have time to maybe take a break when the weather is hot and the sun is beating down on you guys really hard. And you'll have time to not have to worry about rushing to camp and you'll have time to set up camp before it gets too dark. So start your hikes earlier in the day. That's a tip that I always try to live by every time I'm backpacking. I try to get up, eat breakfast, and then I'm on the trail after I've broken down camp. Now here's one that I've said before in quite a few other videos, but I think it's worth mentioning again because it's something that I tend to forget. It's cameling up before you start your hike. What does that mean? Well, try to pack some extra water in your car or your truck when you get to your trailhead and just drink a bunch of water before you start your hike. It's gonna help you to stay hydrated earlier. It's gonna help you from not getting dehydrated 
and it's gonna help it so that you don't have to carry as much water in your backpack. And I heard people comment on my last video when I mentioned this, <laughs> that, well, the water's inside of you, so you're still carrying that water. Fine, you're still carrying the water, okay? But <laughs> it's less room in your backpack, it's not pulling you backwards, um, it's just less weight on your back overall, and it just makes sense. So camel up before you start your backpacking trip. Okay, tip number four. And this is the tip that I don't really use much anymore. Um, and it's because I don't have a backpack like this one anymore. Uh, although this is a fantastic backpack. Uh, this is the old tried and true Osprey Exos. Uh, and a lot of guys will put on a backpack like this and they'll get their sternum strap going and they'll get their hip belt strap going, they'll tighten it up and they will maybe tighten up these arms here and then they're, they're done. But the problem with this is you can see already is that this backpack is leaning way back. And this is something I've seen so many people do out in the back country, especially new people, or just, you know, maybe they're not new, they just don't understand how their backpack works. And I've come up on them and I wanna tell them so bad, but I don't wanna be that guy. There are straps right up, and you might need to have somebody help you with this, because there we go, right here. These are called load lifters. All you gotta do is pull on it and watch what happens. Brings that backpack and that weight up. <laughs> The one second, backpack up towards your back and it makes that center of balance towards you so it's much more comfortable of a hike when you're hiking. So if your backpack is hurting, for instance, or if it's just been really uncomfortable when you're hiking, check those load lifter straps. Pull them to the point where they're just pulling that weight towards you. And typically guys say it needs to be like on a 45 degree angle from your back and that kind of thing. Who knows? Whatever works for you, do it. But that was tip number four. All right, guys, those are my four tips. Hopefully they helped you out. If you guys have tips yourself, put them in the comments below. That would be super helpful to everybody watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released. And I will see you on the next one.